Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of writing equations from tables. This is standard 6.6b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here, and we have already a clue that s is our independent variable. So our independent variable, that's where we're going to start from. So something is done to this independent variable, which means this r right here, that means if the other s is the independent vari variable, this is going to be our dependent variable. So let's take a look at this. So we are starting with S. Something is happening to S, and we're getting down to R. So since our uh, two rows are going side to side, we're going to be looking up and down to see what's the, what's the interaction here between S and R. So the numbers are getting smaller. So S, something happens to S, and it becomes smaller. One-sixth in the first situation, two to one-third so on and so forth. So the two ways to make something smaller is we can either subtract or we can divide. So let's see if we were to do 1 minus something equals 1 sixth. Well, we could make this a 6 sixths. And we could subtract 5 sixths. So maybe that's, maybe that's our rule. Maybe that's what we're doing with this particular table is minusing six sixths to make one sixth. I'm not sure that's going to hold up with our second one. So two, does two minus five sixths equals one third? Well, first off, we got denominators all over the place. How do we make two? Well, if one is six sixths, then two is going to be twelve sixths. And if you subtract five sixths, that's going to make seven sixths, which is not the same as one third. So, we're not subtracting. Another thing we can do is let's try dividing. So, 1, I'm going to start back here with 1. 1 divided by something equals 1 sixth. That's kind of strange because 1 is the smallest whole number we can come up with. You know what? Look all the way down here. The rule needs to apply all the way down. 6 divided by something equals 1. So 6 divided by, let's see, 6. Yeah, 6 divided by 6 makes 1. So does 1 divided by 6? 6 make 1 sixth. Yeah, sure. Because 1 divided by 6 can also be thought of as just a, a fraction that hasn't been finished, right? So 1 divided by 6 is your denominator. Okay, so let's see if that works for the other ones. 2 divided by 6. Well, that's going to equal two six like you can write any type of division as a fraction and then we need to reduce this simplify this so we can simplify this by two over two that's going to make one third so yeah that works that works that works let's check the last few three divided by six does that equal one half yep sure does four divided by six does that equal two thirds yeah, you're dividing top and bottom by 2. So that works. And then finally, 5 divided by 6. Yeah, guess what? That equals 5 sixths. So our answer is going to be, we take our S, we divide it by 6, and we get R. But guess what? We don't see that over on our answer selections, the F, G, H, and J. But what we do see is the reciprocal. So this is why the reciprocal is such an important concept in sixth grade. When you divide by sixth, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is one sixth. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our r. So we're going to start with our r, or that's going to be our answer. We're going to multiply s by 1 6th, and we're going to get it, and our answer is j.